your idea of an artist, or let's say the society at the moment, has an idea of an artist that doesn't match my idea. I was born in Lucano and I grew up in St. Gallen. And with 17, I applied for the Düsseldorf Academy. And actually, they accepted me. And when I look back, it was a really important moment where I could step out of my childhood and also leave like my parents' area. Mainly for me, it was needed to develop as an artist. And I think I needed to be by myself. First of all, years ago, I started with stop motion animations, videos. Then I moved on uh, with coding my own website and then I started to use a child software called Scratch where you can really like puzzle codes together like as blocks and then I quickly moved on with augmented reality. There's a video work that is actually where I found the formula for myself. I was already using a projector to make a painting and then I realized why not leaving the projection? Why not working with the projection as an actual layer? And I really balanced this out. I felt like, oh wow, it comes together. It is a hybrid now and the painting is not finished without the projection. The projection is not finished without the painting and both together merge so well that it is also when you see it not a question. Most people search for the projector but I think you don't question it. You look at it and it is one and that was also the moment for me where I thought like, oh okay, I can add a digital layer to a painting and it's still a painting. I'm really interested in making art, not just for the art world or for the art interested. I want to make art for everybody. When I do live streams, that actually worked out for me. Sometimes I, I just showed my hand and had to wait really long until somebody just joined my stream and then I asked him to move my hand in any way, up, down, left, right, or waves, or whatever they thought of. And sometimes it was really silly, sometimes it got super intense and that was a beautiful thing to me to just not work alone, to do, to do a weird way of collaboration with these tools we nowadays have. I try to actually make a bridge, a bridge for the young and the old. Because the, these are two levels of engagement where I really saw that in the gallery happening that people came and just looked at the painting. And then the son or the daughter had the phone in the hand and they were looking through the phone at the painting because it was natural or like they wanted that. I find it super interesting to give entry points and Often I have the feeling it's really hard to make an entry point, to let people in is maybe the key for me or where my interest lays. And the app then, you can see it as an add-on, but a kid would not see it as an add-on. They would actually see the work in that moment because they can then play with it. They want an interactive moment. They want to engage with it with clicking and something happens and it changes. And an older generation maybe exactly doesn't want that. And I find it super interesting to make a bridge between these two areas or these two layers of how people consume art. I just try to contribute something beautiful, something that helps other people, something that maybe inspires just the next generation uh, of artists. And I don't know if I can even do that. I just try my best.